Easy Border Garden Edges are an ideal, do-it-yourself solution to finish your gardening and landscape projects. Enhance garden beds and tree surrounds with these convenient, durable, and eco-friendly border edges. In this video, we'll install the Easy Border Landscape Edge. This edge is used to define separation between aggregates such as sod and gravel, mulch, river rock, and more. It's ideally used to create a border guide for laying hardscape paver stones, but can be used by the DIY home gardener for projects as well. Recycling tires for a greener tomorrow. It all starts with our recycled rubber construction. Here's how it works. Used tires are collected when their treads are too low for safe driving. The rubber is removed and crumbed into tiny pieces. We use this crumb rubber to make useful new products for the home and garden. The rubber makes these edges extremely flexible and durable, but lighter weight than traditional concrete options. Since they're made from tires, they can withstand extreme temperatures and can be left in place in the garden during the winter months without risk of cracking or breakage. These are the tools required. A hose or string, measuring tape, rubber mallet, utility knife, and shovel or spade. Remember to use the correct personal protection equipment for the installation of easy border garden edges. Always wear safety goggles to protect eyes from airborne debris. Always wear garden gloves to protect hands from injury. If desired, wear cushioned knee pads to protect knees for long gardening tasks. Step 1. Measure your space. Measure the linear feet of your garden edge to determine how many linear feet of edging you'll need by measuring with a hose or string. Step 2. Choose the right garden edge for the project. Today, we're layering a segment of river rock near a garden hose water tap. This area is muddy and slippery, so the river rock will provide not only traction, but also add a decorative element in this garden. The landscape edge will provide a barrier to separate the garden mulch from the river rock. This edge system requires two components. The flexible edge itself, which measures 48 inches in length, as well as the spike. The spike will keep the edge in place even if the edge is placed in a curvy shape. Step 3. Prepare the garden. Establish a clear separation between the lawn and the garden soil or garden aggregates such as mulch. Level a clean edge with a shovel or spade or simply clear the ground to allow the edge to rest on an even surface. Landscape edge can sit on top of the ground or can be dug into the sod edge. Step 4. Install the landscape edge. First, arrange the edge into place and mark the space temporarily by hammering a spike into a hole that best maintains the desired curve. Second, if needed, cut the ground to match the curve of the edge. In this case, the edge is placed on the surface of the garden bed and will be covered with river rock. Finally, stake firmly by hammering the spikes into place using the rubber mallet. Place the river rock around the edge to conceal the edge as needed. 